All right, let's start with something easy. We're going to create this interesting looking prison procedurally in three easy steps and add a dispersion shader to it. So let's jump right in. I'm using cycles. I'm keeping the uh, denoising off to get some natural noise in the prison and uh, turn down the uh, lighting to much uh, darker shade. This is more of a personal preference, but I like to keep the look at medium to high contrast and turn down the exposure to maybe minus 0.8. Yeah. Let's split this window and set it to camera view. And reset the camera position and rotation and align it just like this. Now, Point the camera to the cube by rotating on the y-axis. Let's move it up a little bit. Let's delete this light. We will add some media lights later. All right. Move the cube up a little bit and scale it on the z-axis. Somewhat like this. So basically the height of this cube will define the height of the prism. And uh, always remember to apply all the transformation. In this case, I've just changed the scale, so I'm gonna apply that. And uh, let's move on to the modifiers. First of all, let's add a subdivision modifier. And I'm gonna keep this at 2. And add a decimate modifier. And uh, this is going to decide the structure of your prism. Just make sure the subdivision modifier is on top of the decimate modifier. Now, if you change this value, you'll get something that looks like a prism. You can play with this value till you find something of your liking. And I, I think I like this one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can always go back and change it. So don't stress it too much. All right, let's add some AI lights. So shift A lights drag it up pointing the prism move back here scale it on the z-axis basically we want it directly on the prism and pointing towards the camera something like this and duplicate this on the other side okay that's right. Let's create some materials. Name this uh, dispersion. Yeah. Let's delete this principal VSTF and add a glass shader. And duplicate this twice change the color to red this one to green and this one to blue okay now let's connect these shaders using add shader and connect the red and green to it Duplicate the shader and connect the blue one to this. I'm using Node Wrangler by the way. Um, I think this is called Daisy Connect, I guess. So you just hold Option and like click and drag between two nodes. Yeah. Okay. Change the index of refraction to 1.4 on this. 1.5. Six on this till you get nice color bands just like this yeah let's add some power to the light let's set this to 150 and this to some port like 300 yeah now the color bands are way too sharp so we're gonna add the layer weight node and connect the Fresnel the roughness of all these glass shaders yeah yeah like this 
now let's add a mix shader node and plug it right here and let's add a refraction shader and plug it into the bottom socket of this mix node now let's add a fresnel node and use this as a factor for the mix shader this will give the dark edges on the prism yeah see that's much better now bring the fresnel value from the layer bit node and plug it in the roughness of refraction all right that's it i'm going to leave this on the screen in case you want to grab a screenshot of this okay okay this is more of an advanced tip so um what i like to do is track these lights to the object so select the light and go to constraints and add the track tool now select the uh, prism the object as target that way it's always pointing towards the prism and you can rotate and move the lights freely as you like and we're going to do the same thing on this slide as well now just play with these values um, um, move the lights around rotate scale the prism um, change the values in the decimate modifier till you find something that you're looking for you can also add a bevel modifier to it to make it look more interesting but keep the value to minimum like 0.001 that's what i've done here or maybe 0.005 that's fine all right and I'm, I'm happy with this arrangement uh let's render this out and move on to compositing click on use nodes and add a viewer node to see the render output now i'm just gonna add some fog glue to this but uh, feel free to make your own adjustments to it somewhat like this Now let's plug this to the main output that's it and we are done now play with the modifiers and make as many prisms as you want so hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one